Bathurst 12 Hour is one of the craziest and hardest events in sim racing, but how do you conquer the mountain? That's what we're talking about today. We're gonna to be driving the BMW GT3 as this car suits this track very well. I'm not only gonna be showing you how to go fast, but also where to overtake, as well as a surprise that you don't want to miss out on in the end. Coming towards turn one, you're aiming to break just before the 50 meter board. Now, the important thing in this corner is the exit, and you want to do everything that you can to make sure that you get the throttle planted early. This means trail breaking it into the late apex, as well as staying away from this curb to make sure it doesn't bounce the car off the line. Chill down the next straight as you prepare yourself mentally for the craziness you're about to experience. The straight is a good place to set your active reset point in testing, or take a sip of your drink. Turn two is a good spot for over taking just be careful because there's a wall on the exit if you run too wide. The braking marker I use for this corner is this piece of tarmac on the entry and mid corner you want to use trigger braking to rotate the car as it understeers quite easily. Another tip I have here is to use the gears to create stability changing light from fourth to third gear. This will give you more consistency at least in my experience which we don't complain about. On the exit you want to go early on throttle as always but you want to avoid going too wide as the car will bottom out if you take too much curb on the left. Bring your car to the right to get a better line into the cutting, yes that is the corner's name, and aim to peak around 50 to 60% of brake pressure. In this corner you want to make sure that you don't go wider than the white line as the track cambers out on the outside which means that as soon as you go out there you won't have any grip to get the car turned in. The tighter you try and keep it on the exit of this corner the earlier you can go on throttle without hitting the wall on the left. As you go up the mountain you want to make sure that you don't hit this curb as it will either bounce you closer to the wall or into the wall. The next section is flat out, but you need to be very careful. If you don't feel comfortable taking it flat out, it's all right to lift. It will lose you less time than putting it in the wall anyways. On the entry to the first part, you want to make sure that you use all of the track, getting as close to this wall and using this tiny bit of track on the inch. The first curb on the right doesn't make a big difference, but it's better staying away from it as it still gives you a little bump and unsettles the car a tiny bit. The curb on the left though, you can get as close to the wall as you dare. Bring the car as far to the right as you feel comfortable with, optimally as close to the wall as possible and put it into fifth gear to create a little bit more stability. If you're experiencing problems taking this corner flat out, there are a couple of things you can do to make it work. First of all, stay off this curb. It will unsettle the car massively and spit you into the wall. The second thing is to make Make sure that you're as smooth as possible on the entry and the third one listen closely here you can in a way pre counter steer the car to make sure it doesn't go loose what I do right before the curb is I straighten out the wheel for a slight moment now this will give it a little bit of time to settle and find grip this might sound hard or badly explained but you just need to get some laps in and you'll figure it out tap the brakes into skyline and lift off the throttle for a short moment now the car on this setup will rotate and if it over rotates it's likely because you're not smooth enough on the steering wheel at least from my experience now before we get into the craziest part of this track i would appreciate a sub to the channel if you're finding this guide useful now let's talk downhill this is the trickiest part of the track you're braking on an uneven downhill surface with walls all around you the top of the hill you want to start slightly and slowly on the brakes as you start out at around 10 percent and apply more and more brake pressure as you go down the gears mount this curb here on the left but be careful it can unsettle the car in scary ways but if you do it correctly keep it smooth it will be fine as you get off the curb go down to second gear hug this curb on the right side of the track as it will give you a great line into the dipper for the dipper you want to turn in a bit earlier than you think as the car will lose grip for a slight second as you drop into the compression now turning in earlier will get you slightly closer to the wall and allow you to carry more speed throughout the corner. As you go into the compression, you will regain the grip, and this allows for a great opportunity to go on throttle. Smack the throttle and navigate this wall neatly with the extra grip that you've just regained from the compression, and make sure to tap the walls for extra style points. Who wrote this script? Breaking for the forest elbow, you want to lift off and start with a slight bit of braking to make sure you get the car position right into one of the most important exits on the track. Trail braking is so important here, as this is a steep downhill left-hander, which means the car will lose grip. Hug the wall as much as you can and go as early on throttle as possible, optimally around or just before the barrier sticks out. And finally, a break for you to restore your focus again. Use this time to set up an overtake or draw my 
Discord server, which you'll want to be in for the surprise at the end. Coming into the chase, you have a good overtaking spot down the straight, but if you're side by side into the corner, it's not necessarily easy. Break just before the 100 meter board and take the car down to third gear. You want to try and carry as much speed as possible without sacrificing the exit of this corner. This next corner is flat, and if you're side by side on the outside of this corner, I would recommend backing off because there's a high chance you'll end up in the wall. For the final corner, I use this pattern on the pit entry as a braking marker. Down to second gear and avoid the curb on the inside and make sure you get a good exit for the final corner to round off your lap at Bathurst Mount Panorama. Now for the surprise. On top of this guide, I've provided a free community setup, which is the one I use to set this lap. All you have to do is to join my Discord server, which has a link in bio to download the setup and it's all yours to use. Good luck for your race after Marcus and I'll see you in the next one.